なんとなく。What the hell? <laughs> Wait. Is she dead? This wasn't supposed to. Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. Holy shit! Two people died just like that. Oh god. This game, this game is worse than Game of Thrones. It just kills whoever. Jesus Christ. No way. What the? I, I don't. Uh, this can't be real. Yeah. No way. Well, now. <laughs> Now I'm painfully now I'm painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really want to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but I guess all you need is to be taught a lesson after all. Ah, uh, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Damn! Juka's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they've seen. Junko, who until just a second ago has been our friend, was dead. She's dead. She's been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's really not all that shocking. What the hell is... What the hell are you talking about? It is pretty shocking. You wouldn't know that because of teddy bear, but... Keep your mouth shut. She... She just died, that's all. Just went and died. Morally, I cannot like Monokuma at all. First, well, he does not. I don't have a very bold moral compass like, um, like the other guy. But I cannot morally agree with this. Damn, it's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> it, this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why'd you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Waste, uh, waste time this whole time? Yeah, Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma. Well now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the Blacken. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it's it... The Monokuma File! The Monokuma File, okay, cool. Mm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts in this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. Mm. What's that? Why do I know the cause of death, you ask? <laughs> Because the surveillance camera picked up the whole thing. I get to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then, you know you killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment in the trial. How could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please, pull your eff <laughs> please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up again in the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. 
Jesus Christ, and for who knows how long. Nobody said a word. The fact that Saika and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course, but there was more to it than that. There was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. That if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now is no time to wow on your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That will lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key for this at, uh, at this point. Who you decide to trust is not is not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about the talk about the disease certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or willing to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what just happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if you don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. Without, what other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. All right, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. I don't keep repeating that sentiment. They're using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. That's what it takes to survive, and that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I need to find out. I had to know why Saika had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why... I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is where this starts. Saika is dead. Junko is dead. Holy shit, what do we do? Jesus. It's like some kind of a nightmare. I'm not even kidding you. Well, first of all, what we probably should do is, like... Well, actually, first of all, I would like to go into the system and save. Because this actually sounds like a good idea to save right about now. Then go to options, go to sound, and maybe turn down the background volume a little bit more to this decent amount. There we go. It's not too blaring, cause I don't know something. Something's weird about the game settings and everything. It's a little odd at times. Okay, so the first thing we probably should do is can we check in the ball? I guess we can't. What we should do probably right now is investigate Junko's body. That's what we should do. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check her pulse. Like they do in movies and stuff, but she really is dead. Uh, yeah, no shit. She got like four or five spikes in her body, and she's bleeding out. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? huh? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just, just wait a second. She's, she's dead. That means... What? That means everything that happens so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever. It really, It's really real? Let me out of here! Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? Okay, now he's snapping to reality. You, you just now accepting that? I guess he is. Can we investigate further? Don't place my hand in because life was body. No, we've already seen this. Never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the red. Alright, we need to start talking to people and investigate what exactly happened. That's what we should start doing. That might be a best bet. First of all, I guess, let's go left to right. That's what we should do. Let's start with uh, Hifumi. Hifumi? Um... Consciousness has crashed. Are we starting now? Please wait a moment. He is crashed. Alright. Let's ask Toko. She must be so shocked she can't even open her mouth to talk. What about uh, Chihiro over there? What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. They. <laughs> Aww, I feel bad for her. Although she could be a culprit. I want to trust people, but I really, but I'm so like analytical and skeptic of everybody now. Everybody's a freaking criminal. 
It, it's not a good feeling. It really is not a good feeling. I want to be able to find somebody we can trust. But Saikish is dead, and Junko is also dead. Saika was the only person we could actually trust, if ever. Maybe we could trust Celeste, but it's still very sketchy. There's nothing that gives us a chance to trust her right now. Let's talk to Sakura. We can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. Oh yeah, didn't they, uh, didn't they say we have something else as well? Report card? Don't we get to use a... a card about this? Junko, can I see anything at all? No, nothing. No, nothing, never mind. Presen presence, map, regulations... Regulations? School relation may be added as necessary. Okay, gotcha. Uh, let's talk to Yasu Hero, see how he's doing. Let me out of here. Come on, man. Let me out of here. Come on, someone let me out. Uh, he's gone. What about um, huh? Mondo? Is this really happening? Don't fuck with me. Screw that piece of shit bear. Alright, I understand your anger. Kyoko, anything else? Hey. Before we start searching for Saika's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think, anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Mm. Okay, then we can let Armando look after the scene. <laughs> well, now, we can just leave him here alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what was the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you are in position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. Well, fuck you! So then... Fine, then I'll stay here on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op based defense with the two of, uh, based defense with the two of them. With those stats, they're totally OP. Huh. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay, if we have uh, if you have Mondo and we have Sayaka or oh, Sakura, not Sayaka. If you have Sakura and Mondo guarding the body, granted they're both really really tough, they'll probably be able to counter each other and encounter whoever would try to mess with the body. That's actually a really good way to do it. Hmm. Next, we should probably talk to um, talk to the swimmer, Aoi. See how she's doing. I hate this, but still, we don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. Okay. I'm gonna say something that's really morbid, right? It's gonna be really morbid and really messed up. But I realized, if students start dying, that's less pressure on me to try to mimic all the voices. Which makes my job easier. It sounds absolutely messed up that I'm like, hey, I don't have to voice as many people. The more, di the more than die. That's both... It's like, yay, but... In ultimatum, it's like, no, I don't want people to die. I really don't, trust me, I, I don't want people to die f just just for something trivial like that. Anyway, let's talk to Celeste here. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? You noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through Monokumo file we received, and noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Nothing anything interesting about why Saika died. I'll notice anything. She died in Makoto's dorm. Uh. Well, she's right. <laughs> that could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second. You got all wrong. For just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> what the heck? Y you expect us to be believe that? Just tell us the tr truth. The look in everyone's eyes had gone a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear I turned. In other words, you think I did it? So then. Are we done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Saika. We we'll have to collect clues from the fa uh, to form a foundation and then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If you get this wrong, so. Well, do I really have to say any more? Actually, I'd rather you didn't. No. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. <clears throat> I'll be going too. And just like that, Kyoko... And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better get... 
Mm. I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. If whoever son of a bitch did this here right now and they'll think of destroying that evidence, you're fucking the better not let me find him. I'll skip the trial and keep the gun in skull in myself. I'm serious, I'll fuck them up. God, he's I like his character. He definitely stays true to his characteristics. Letting his dead deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're not are we gonna investigate a murder? How do you even do something like that? Anyway, we don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who k killed Saika. Oh, Toko, don't do that. Don't do that. What are you implying? This is very suspicious. It was you. I'm telling you, it was me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, our face. D don't come any c c closer. I are you going to kill me next? So, um. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um. That's true. We may as well at least check it out. Uh, at least check, just to check. <laughs> Even if I w wanted to, I c couldn't help in investigate. Uh. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not g g good with b b blood. All this, all it takes is one g g glimpse, and I b b black out. Oh yeah. What? The girl is right there in front of us. Seriously, what's her name? God, she's right there in front of us and she's been bled out and pierced through the body. What does she mean she's not good with blood? She's perfectly fine with blood, she's doing fine. Well, whatever. I don't think anyone is expecting much from you anyway. Damn. Alright, I guess I better get going. See you, Leon. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. It was pointless. Everyone had already left. Kyoko? No, no. It, was, it wasn't her. God, what's her name again? Toka? The girl that just died. And though parting and though parting looks at and though parting looks at me had been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How do it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise everyone will Execution is Execution. Execution! Okay, so the main protagonist here, uh, he is he literally doesn't want he doesn't want him to be ex accused. Now, you know, to get him eliminated, he wants to make sure that everybody else doesn't get eliminated because somebody gets away with it. Electric chair, bzz, bzz, poison gas, <laughs> torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Like I said, it's more than execution. That's freaking brutal murder. That's mutilation. Makoto, there we go, that's his name. Sorry, I just haven't played this game in a while, in a really long time. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Saika. Investigate. Guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Saika Maizono. Time of death is estimated to be around 1.30am. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth. So, we can all survive. And for Saiko. I have to find out who, uh, how she was killed. Monokuma File 1 has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Truth Bullet? Junko, that's what's her, that's what that's what was her name. Just want to make sure I got her name right and everything. Okay, so help. Okay, uh, truth bullets. So review evidence of witness accounts you've made a record of. Murakumo file one. Second zone at the time of death is estimated to be around 1:30 a.m. But it was discovered in Makoto's room in dormitory. So it was immediately discovered after we traded rumors. So we traded rumors at 10. And then she got killed three hours later. The death took place in the bathroom, the cause of death was stabbed wound to the abdomen, her right wrist appears to have been fractured. We gotta check on the wrist, we gotta check on everything around the room, that's what we gotta do, investigate every little part of it. So it took a, it took place in our room, and she was discovered in a dormitory around 1.30am, placed in the bathroom. If you could only see like, files and everything, it'd be a lot e like, times and everything, it'd be a hell of a lot easier. See if we can talk to Yasuhiro over here. 
No way! I seriously don't want to die here! Help me! I bet you got Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Kiru doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigation right now. Nope. He is gone. We should probably save right here, that might be a good idea. Oh, nope, not map. Map, map. There we go. System. Let's save over this driver here. There we go. So good, Chihiro. See how she's doing. Aren't you going to help investigate Chihiro? Um. Oh, wait. No, that's us saying. Aren't you going to mes help investigate Chihiro? But I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I I have to stay with her. Alright, it's fine. You do you, girl. You do you. Alright, we should probably go ahead and exit out of here. Leave the gym. Yeah. Let's go see if you can maybe talk to more people. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to Left Left Left. Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing that. <laughs> I kind of want to say you could dress better. 